the second step is the structure analysis to create the structure in the structure editor to build up this bottle design if you may into the structure i need to create a structure overview like this one you have at the very top your complete assembly bottle with the cap and your logo then you have like a bomb build of material or like a 3D CAD model. You have your bottle with the cap and your logo and then the level goes deeper into your bottle and the cap. And this structure needs to build up in APIS. So you have here system elements or you can also just right mouse click on the system element and then new and then you have here system elements or you can also click here the system element. You see here a small arrow to the right or a small arrow down. If you click on to the right, then he creates system element deeper. If you click on down, then it will create lower. How can I name my system elements in the design FMA? And this is according your BOM, I would say. I called my complete assembly, assembly complete water bottle. Then I have one production drawing for my second level assembly bottle. Then I have my bottle, I have my logo, and I have my cap. And these items need to be implemented in APIS. I will start with the very first, the complete assembly water bottle. And this needs also to be implemented, the complete assembly. And then my second level would be the bottle with the cap and my logo. So again, I select it, then system element, complete bottle with cap and my label. Just press enter and then again enter and then it's inserted. And then my bottle with cap is also split up into the cap and my bottle. Select again, insert the system element, my cap and my bottle. Now I created a rough structure. Now I need my third element, my root cause or my characteristics level. In most cases, it's geometry of something or product characteristics or something like that. Geometry of cap and material characteristics. And AP7 has the functionality to speed it up a little bit. Just right mouse click on the bottle. And then you have here create next structure level. Then you can choose template design or process. If you click on design, you will create automatically two system elements, which are named geometry and then the system element bottle and material bottle. You can do the same for process, for example, then he will create the man, machine, material and environment. But we're doing here design if made. Right mouse click, create next structure level and then design. Okay, so I have for my cap, for my bottle and for my label, I created my third level. Why do I need the third level? Because you, maybe you remember in, in the form sheet, you have three columns, failure effect, failure mode, and failure cause. And this is the failure cause level. The failure mode level will be then the cap and bottle and label. And the failure effect will be my very first element. But we will come to this later when I will define functions and so on. Now I need also for my complete assembly and my bottle with cap assembly also geometry system elements. Why do I need this? Because I have on my assembly some special characteristics, also some functions which must be implemented into this system element. To create also here the complete assembly bottle, again right mouse click, next structure, design. And I created for my complete assembly also the root cause level. But here I don't need material because an assembly mainly has no material characteristics because they are in the lower levels. So I will delete the material and create the third level also for the bottle with cap. Now I created my structure. What you can do is to, to give a better overview, which are the second level. You can select with control on your keyboard all your items. And then you can give them a background color. Right mouse click, properties, and then colors, or you have here the same background color icon, and you can choose here background color if you want, just to see which are your items and which is your third level. So you can do the same for your third level. Properties, colors, background color. Now I created my structure in a structure editor. This was the second step. And if you want to see the block diagram editor, what you need to consider when you create a form sheet 
And if you want to test your knowledge and get a certificate, then enroll to my free online course and click here to watch the full playlist about the 7 steps in APIS.